Hey, have you ever wondered how come some people can just walk into social situation and chat to anyone about anything, keeping the conversation interesting, engaging without awkward silences or boring topics? What if you could do the same? Well, I'm here to share with you some great tips that will help you master small talks. Hey, this is Thomas from okaysnotenough.com, helping you become the best version of yourself and create a more exciting and more fulfilling life. And if this is something you would like to do with your life, then hey, press the little subscribe button so you can get my weekly videos that will help you do exactly that. And today we talk about small talks mastery. Small talks is something that most people hate, yet when done right, it's really a wonderful tool to get to know someone and build a friendly atmosphere. And it's really just a warm up before a much more deeper and meaningful conversation. But if you're not a social butterfly, I can imagine small talks can be quite daunting. Well, if it makes you feel any better, most people uh, feel the same way. And I used to be absolutely terrible at small talks. And it really bothered me because um, without it, it's so hard to make new friends and make new connections. So when I realized how terrible I was, I decided to start practicing that. And soon I was able to speak to anyone without any fear and more importantly, without making anyone feel uncomfortable. And here are my tips on how you can improve your small talk skills yourself. My first tip is practice small talks everywhere. Look, let's face it, you can't improve without practicing. Being good at small talks is a mixture of being able to initiate the conversations anywhere without fear and keeping a good conversation flowing. Leaving practice for the actual networking event or a party would be like not practicing boxing until you get into the ring. Well, I think we both agree that that would be foolish. Small talks are no different. If you really want to improve, do what I used to do when I was working on improving it myself. I had a goal to initiate a number of small talks every day, and it started with one, and then two a day, three a day, five a day, up to 10 small talks a day. And it may sound like a large number, but trust me, it, it really isn't. It can become really simple, really easy, and you will soon start seeing opportunities for small talks everywhere. I spoke to people at work, uh, shop assistants, cashier, people on public transports. I even uh, messaged or called my friends or people that I haven't spoken to in a long time. Actually, you know, social media or messages are a really good start if you're totally new to small talks, if it really scares you because Messenger gives you a little bit of extra time between each response to think about what you want to say. And initiating number of conversations like this every single day and reaching out to old friends not only will help you massively improve the ability to um, start and keeping small talks, but it will actually very positively impact your social circles because you will start making new friends and you will also start rekindling some of the old friendships that you may have been neglecting for a while. And keep in mind that the conversations can be short. A few casual sentences is a good start. Look, it's a small talk, not a deep and meaningful. My second tip is stop trying to be interesting, but rather aim to be interested. Many people feel a massive pressure when it comes to small talks because they feel like they have to be super interesting and entertaining. Yet the best way to kill a conversation is to make it all about yourself. Think about it, you are at a party and a stranger walks up to you and says hi and start talking all about him or herself. You'd probably think, um, I didn't ask. So if you want a stranger or a person to be engaged in a conversation, then ask them appropriate questions and then shut up and listen. And speaking of appropriate questions, now here is my third tip. Ask the right 
questions. The best small talk questions are questions that are relevant to what's happening around you. I call these situational questions. Just look around and ask something that makes sense. For example, how do you know um, the host or the person who is celebrating or the performer or the people the person is there with? It can also be a question about the place, about the occasion, about what happened earlier or about what's going to happen later if there is or was some kind of performance or occasion or celebration or some kind of peak of the event. Another great way to start a small talk conversation is to compliment something about the person or maybe something about the event or occasion and then ask them something about it. Just keep it light and keep it casual. My tip number four is to build on or branch out of the small talk. When you talk about a topic, think about what would be the next logical question that could follow the topic that you spoke about. For example, if you're at a birthday garden party and you talk to someone and you ask them, how do they know the birthday girl? And they say it's through work. Then it gives you a bunch of options where you can branch off to. You can ask them, for example, how long they have been friends or what do they do for a living? How they have met? If they've been to some other garden parties or if they've been to many birthday parties recently. You see, the opportunities for the questions are endless, yet they are all somewhat connected to the topic that you've just talked about, which is quite important because you don't want to be asking questions that are coming out of nowhere, that may come across a little bit awkward. Being genuinely curious without being intrusive is really the best approach. Hey, people have amazing stories and they know many interesting things. Tap into that and they will do all the talking. And you will actually look like someone who is a great listener and is genuinely interested. Just see it as getting to know someone. Tip number five, small talk topics to avoid. Well, hey, there are some topics that are just better to avoid initially because they tend to totally alienate the conversation. And trust me, I've been on both ends of the problem. The first kind of topics that are better to avoid during small talks are controversial topics like religion, politics and war and other controversial topics where you can expect high polarity. You're running into the dangerous territory where you actually widen the differences between you two or even spark an argument. That's not going to help. This is not one of the times for you to fight for what you think is right or to preach what you think is right. The second thing to avoid is giving advice. Hey, occasionally you will come across someone that uh, has something on their chest and you start talking to them and they will see that as an opportunity to offload and they will share with you the struggles of their life. Hey, as tempting as it may be, resist being a smart ass and giving advice, especially if you are a coach, because we are especially guilty of this. Look, there's nothing wrong with you wanting to help, but first of all, you don't know if the person is ready for that. And secondly, it's most likely not the right time and the right environment for that. And a third kind of topics that are better to avoid during small talks is the deep topics. Hey, I know we are all intellectual, but save these deep topics for your discussion groups or for your friends. I was in situations where I was at the party just trying to have a good time and people woke up to me and started talking about death, alien life, uh, conspiracy theories and all kinds of stuff. And don't get me wrong, I love all that stuff, but not when I'm out trying to have a good time and probably take a break from all that heavy thinking. It's just not the right time for that. And if someone says, okay, um, I'm going to join my friends now, you've probably gone too deep with your topics. And number six, hey, if the small talk is painful, just leave. Sometimes small talks don't go well 
even if you've tried your best. And hey, it may not be your fault. Sometimes people are just not interested or they are plain boring, antisocial or who knows what. Don't feel obliged that you have to wrestle with them and get them talking. Just give it a good shot and if you feel lack of interest, just say, hey, uh, great chatting with you. I'm going to join my friends now and I'll see you around. Just keep in mind that you don't need to explain anything. You're not there to entertain anyone. If they're not up for it, cool, just leave them alone. So these are the six tips that I have for you. They will help you master your small talks. Just keep in mind, it's all about practice. You gotta practice, practice and practice. And over time, you will see, you will improve massively. If you are looking for a magic line that will make you look fun and it will turn you into a social butterfly, then there is no such thing. Small talks is a skill and can quickly be developed. It just needs a little bit of practice. If you are shying away from these small talks, then I have from the heart advice for you. Just grow a pair. It's only a small talk. The worst thing that can happen is that people won't talk much. Big deal. Set a goal to initiate 100 small talks and keep track of it so you can see what works and what doesn't. And after 100 small talks, I can guarantee you, you will be significantly better at it as well as more confidence. So a little bit of tough love at the end, but honestly guys, it's an easy skill to develop and you will benefit from it for the rest of your life. So if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and press the little subscribe button so you can get notified about my weekly videos. And as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate your attention. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or anything you want to say about the topic. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.